will be explaining the movie Tale of Tales. Warning, spoilers ahead. In the kingdom of Long Trellis, the people are preparing to entertain the king and queen. The king is happy with the performance, but the queen looks sad and distant. During the performance, the jester spills the bucket of water on a pregnant woman. The queen immediately leaves the room. The queen is crying and marches away to her chambers from the king and the crowd. The king and the servants follow her. In the chambers, the queen starts breaking things out of fury. The king comforts her and she cries. The same evening, the necromancer visits them. He offers them the way how to conceive a child. He says that the birth of life has a cost and that is death. The queen is willing to sacrifice her life to give birth. The necromancer explains if she eats the heart of the sea monster, she will instantly become pregnant. The heart must be prepared alone by a maiden. Following the instructions, the king goes to the sea wearing armor so he can breathe underwater. At the bottom of the sea, he sees the sea monster sleeping. He approaches the sea monster and stabs it. The sea monster wakes up in pain and throws the king away. The king gets up and finishes the sea monster. The sea monster is dead and the servants cut the heart out and give it to the king. The king is injured and laughs knowing he succeeded before succumbing to his wounds. The queen takes the heart and doesn't look at the dead king at all. A maiden prepares the heart that is still beating. She puts the heart into boiling water and starts feeling strange. Her belly is in pain. The queen devours the heart like an animal with her hands and face covered in blood. The next day, the queen and the maiden give birth. The queen is finally happy now that she has a son. The king of High Hills and the king of Strongcliff attend the king's funeral. Sixteen years later, the queen plays with her son Elias in the maze. She can't keep up with him. Elias is hiding with his friend Jonah, who looks just like Elias. Elias and Jonah escape the maze, leaving the queen alone. She looks for Elias and sees him riding a horse with Jonah. She sends the knights to find them. The boys can breathe underwater, so they easily hide from the knights. The queen calls for the maiden, Jonah's mother. The queen will banish her and Jonah from the kingdom if Jonah continues to see Elias. Elias comes and doesn't understand why the queen insists on separating him from Jonah. She reminds him that she is his mother and the queen. She threatens him that he and Jonah will regret it if they keep seeing each other. At the same time, the king of Strongcliff wakes up with a hangover after the night of partying. He hears a woman singing. He looks out of the window and sees a woman who hides from him. Determined to get her attention, he sends her an expensive necklace, completely unaware that the woman is old. The woman, Dora, and her sister, Emma, like the necklace. That evening, the sisters prepare for bed when the king of Strongcliff knocks on their door. He wants Dora. He fell in love with her. Emma knows he wants to be happy with Dora's appearance. She wants to tell the truth, but Dora stops her. Dora wants to take the opportunity. She promises herself to him if he returns in one week. The king agrees. Meanwhile, in the kingdom of High Hills, the Princess Violet plays a song for her father. The king of High Hills becomes distracted when the flea appears on his hand. Violet notices her father is distracted but continues to perform the song. After the king goes to his room and tends to the flea. Fascinated by the flea, he puts it in a box. The days go by and the king is obsessed with the flea. Violet's tutor reads a romantic story to her. One day, Violet insists on getting married. The king doesn't share the same interest in the idea. Violet complains about her dinner. The king takes the leftovers to the flea, which has grown gigantic. The king is happy the flea likes the food. In the kingdom of Long Trellis, the queen and Elias watch the circus perform. Elias is laughing and the queen is happy, thinking he has forgotten about Jonah. That night, the queen wants Elias to help her prepare an event. The queen notices Elias' smell. When Elias leaves, it is discovered that was Jonah, not Elias. The boys meet in Elias' room. Elias is overwhelmed with the thought they can deceive the queen. They aren't aware, but the queen overhears their conversation. She knocks on the door, but Jonah hides on time. She reminds Elias she has sacrificed a lot for him, and she tells him no one will love him as she does. The queen leaves. Jonah decides to go home, but the queen ambushes Jonah. He hides in the butchery and manages to escape. The next day, the queen and Elias pose for the portrait painting, but Elias is distracted. He notices Jonah outside leaving somewhere. Elias runs to him and asks why he is leaving. 
Jonah dodges the question, but plunges the knife into a tree and the water starts spouting out. Jonah promises Elias as long as the water is clear, he is fine. Jonah leaves. Back in Strongcliff, Dora and Emma try to make her finger look younger to deceive the king. The king arrives waiting at the door. In a panic, Dora uses Emma's younger looking finger. The king starts kissing the finger. The king wants to see her, but she is pretending to be shy. Dora tells him she will spend the night with him in total darkness. The king agrees. Emma helps Dora to prepare for the king. Emma prays for Dora and goes to bed feeling all alone. The next morning, the king sees Dora more clearly. When he sees she is disfigured and old, he throws her out, accusing her to be a witch. She is thrown out of the window but survives. A passing witch sees her and starts laughing at her. The witch saves her and comforts her like a child. Dora falls asleep and the witch leaves. The next morning, Dora turns into a beautiful young woman. That day, the king hunts in the woods and sees young Dora. Instantly, he falls in love with her. In the kingdom of High Hills, the king calls a doctor to heal his gigantic flea. But it is too late and the flea dies. The king is in mourning. The king agrees to let Violet marry. Her husband will be chosen by a tournament. Violet is worried she won't love the man who wins. The king has the gigantic flea skinned and uses it for the tournament. He explains that whoever guesses which animal the skin was taken from will marry Violet. Many men failed. The king tells Violet that the skin is from the flea, but Violet thinks he is lying. A giant ogre comes. The king allows him to guess, believing he will fail. The ogre smells the skin and immediately answers that it is from the flea. Violet runs in terror. She wants to kill herself. The king arrives, explaining he didn't think anyone will guess. He tells her it is God's will for her to marry the ogre. Violet accuses him he doesn't care for her. Violet accepts to marry the ogre. The ogre carries her to the mountains. They arrive at this cave and Violet is scared. The ogre rapes her. In the kingdom of Long Trellis, the tree sprouts blood. Something happened to Jonah. He leaves the kingdom to save him. Elias arrives in town and people mistake him for Jonah. Jonah's mother and friends are happy he is safe. Meanwhile, the necromancer tells the queen that Elias and Jonah are inseparable. He warns that her violent desires will require violence. The queen is willing to pay the price. Elias finds injured Jonah in the woods in a cave. A strange creature is in the cave, cornering Jonah in a hole. Elias tries to save Jonah. Elias stabs the creature and it dies. They escape the cave and leave for the town. Back in the cave, the creature disintegrates, leaving the queen's body behind. In Strongcliff, a servant brings Emma a beautiful dress and an invitation to the royal wedding. Emma is happy Dora is marrying the king. Emma attends the wedding, feeling nervous. When the king and the new queen arrive, Emma is confused. Soon, the queen takes Emma out of the court and explains everything. Emma is frightened and confused. Dora promises Emma she will take care of her. Emma has to promise to keep the secret. When the wedding is over, Emma is drunk and doesn't want to leave. She tells Dora she wants to be by her side. Dora refuses because it is too risky. After, Emma sneaks into Dora's room, begging her to stay. Dora is angry and reminds Emma of her appearance so no one will believe they are sisters. Emma also wants to be young. Dora lies to her and tells her she stripped off her skin. King arrives and Emma hides. Dora and King spend the night together, but the King sees Emma. He screams that is the woman he threw out of the window. The guards throw Emma away, and Dora allows it. The next morning, Emma tries to find someone who will strip off her skin to turn her young. She finds a man who agrees to do that. He takes her into the woods. Emma is in excruciating pain, but she believes she will be young and beautiful. She walks back into town bloody and weak. Meanwhile, in the ogre's cave, Violet hears someone outside. She finds a woman and begs for her help. The woman promises she will bring others tomorrow to help her. The next morning, Violet notices a young acrobat who helps her across the cliff. Ogre chases after them but falls off of the cliff. Violet is happy and celebrates with the acrobats. Suddenly, the ogre appears. He survived the fall. He attacks them. 
Violet grabs the knife and tries to escape with the others. The ogre kills everyone except for Violet. She is running away in panic. She climbs over the rocks but reaches the dead end. The ogre sees her and she starts to cry. Frightened, Violet slowly walks towards him. The ogre grabs her and pushes her. To calm the ogre, Violet softly lays her head on his chest. The ogre accepts the embrace and decides to take her home. But unexpectedly, Violet slits his throat and watches him bleed to death. In the high hills, the king is ill. Violet approaches her father all bloody. She is carrying an ogre's head. The king is filled with fear and grief. He begs for forgiveness. She starts to cry. Days later, Violet is crowned as queen. Dora and the king of Strongcliff are at the wedding, and so is Elias. Suddenly, Dora notices her skin began to wrinkle. Horrified, she rushes out of the castle. She can't let the king see her in her true form.